Well, the U.S. military has shot down a fourth object over Lake Huron near the Canadian border, this time described as an octagon. Uh, an octagon object. Uh, this, as the president says, it's mostly silent. President, uh, sorry, Pentagon Press Secretary General, uh, Brigadier General Pat Ryder saying the object was not a military threat, but a flight hazard. Here to discuss is Tennessee Congressman and member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee and the Subcommittee on Aviation, Tim Burchett. Congressman, appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me, brother. I thank asked you for him to, serving our great country. Well, thank you, sir. I, I asked them to zoom out so we could see your historical firearms in the background. We appreciate you having those up, so 2A all the way. Um, but, yes, Congressman, sir. you were raised around aviation. You, your reaction to a fourth object that they're not identifying or at least not sharing with us what the identity is? I think it shows our lack of transparency by this administration. You know, the first balloon they shot down after it had it transversed our entire country. They claimed it was for safety. And obviously, they could have dropped the thing in Montana. They would, um, they're more likely to hit some guy in a, in a, with a mullet and a, and a tank top on Myrtle Beach than they were to hit somebody in Montana if that thing had dropped. You know that. Yeah. Montana's a very lowly, very low population state. Now, after our fourth object that we've shot down, that I'm pretty sure that it is the communist Chinese, if not um, one of their allies. All they're doing now is just just checking our will, mm -hmm. and um, and and clearly what has happened. The first one, uh, you know, the, the Chinese, as you know, they study every movement we make. They studied the fact that we did not have the willpower to shoot it down. They obviously, General Milley, um, his conversations with the Chinese, unbeknownst to President Trump during the Trump administration. And then he tells our president not to shoot it down after the president tells him to shoot it down. I think you being a military man, you see the clear, um, and we need to have a clear break between our, our, our civilian leadership and our, and our military. And, and obviously we don't. And, um, and now the Chinese realize that and after, after we get political power uh, uh, pressure, that our president does yield to that. But the odd thing I thought was President Trudeau, who is no, um, he's no fan of Second Amendment, obviously being in Canada, but Clearly. he's also he's also not a very uh, aggressive, I would not call him a hawk in the least sense. Uh, <laughs> he's more of a far left dove. He clearly saw the problem with it and had us shoot it down immediately. Yeah. yeah. And well, so I, I think, and, and the only reason we're talking about it is because somebody saw the first one. The, uh, the president would not have been as forthcoming. I don't believe the military would have been as forthcoming if, if, if the American population hadn't heard about that one through the media. Yeah, Congressman, I certainly respect your comments on Trudeau. I, I echo those as well. But um, you were involved, and I got less than a minute left, on the UFO hearings for that subcommittee. Uh, real yeah. quick, in about 30 seconds, could this be little green men, sir? No, sir. I okay. do not think so. I don't think anything travel in light years uh, could, could we could drop it with our military ordinance? Um, that is a big. Uh, I believe it's a cover up. This is um, the UFO situation is a cover up. I believe we've had incidents, Roswell. I believe we've recovered, we've recovered material, and I believe that that it's being covered up again. Your our, our friends at the Pentagon and others and big and big tech, they have um, some of this material, yeah. and I, I would hope someone would come forward soon with it. Well, I'm anxious to see where that shakes out and what we find out about it because. It's going to be pretty exciting. Tennessee Congressman Tim Burchett, we appreciate you being here, sir.